Yes, what are you doing? Today is Father's Day. I know. I cooked your favorite breakfast this morning, remember? Well, let me take you back in time and remind you that uh, when we got married 25 years ago, we agreed that on Father's Day I get to do nothing. So guess what? Okay. Maybe we should take an exception and take a look at this bank statement. Do I have to? I've waited 365 days to kick back. Fine. I'm cutting up our credit cards. Baby, why would you have to do that? Ah, you got fever? Hey, it's oh. my no man. <laughs> Sit down. Be serious. We pay up to 20% in our bank account. So? So it adds up to a lot, Ace. But cutting up the credit card won't solve the problem. Maybe if you stop buying tools, it would be better. Well, I could ask you, how many pairs of shoes does one woman need? You know, today I'm supposed to be celebrating my manliness. Why do you put me through this? Hey, man, please, man, let's make a plan. Come on. What if the first thing we do is pay off the debt that we owe? Because what we pay in interest on our credit card is a lot more than what we receive in interest on our savings. Hmm. I like your thinking. Hmm. Then we can deposit any money that we get into our home loan account. That would be a good way to invest. Good how? Because the more money we put into our home loan, the sooner we'll pay off this house. Then we would have invested in a valuable asset. I must say, I'm really impressed. I'm good, huh? <laughs> and when did you learn all that? Financial section. Since when do you read the financial section, Aceton? Just because I'm a man doesn't mean I only read the sports section. <laughs> How's Father's Day? Fantastic. I celebrated my manliness and your mother put a ban on me buying tools. You know, Bob, I've been thinking, when I'm your age, I want to be retired. Is that so? And when you're retired, how do you intend to provide for your family? I'm going to invest in the stock market and get my money to work for me. You know about the stock market? No. But Spigiri's brother knows a guy that sells unit trusts. And uh, who's this guy? I don't know his name. He drives a car. And he's always going on about bulls and bears. I think it's from the Eastern Cape. They must like rugby then, eh? <laughs> Son, he's not talking about rugby. When a unit trust is bullish, it means there's a trend, the price is rising. And when it is bearish, the price is falling. Oh, but he's got a nice house. Then must then prove that he knows what he's doing, right? <laughs> Even the Mafia also have nice houses. Just because he's saying the right thing doesn't mean he's the real deal. Look, when you go to see a doctor, don't you check if he's got a certificate on his wall saying he's been to medical school and is properly qualified? I suppose. It's the same with investing. Only hand over your money to a company that has been approved by the Financial Services Board. Otherwise, they could be fly-by-night crooks. And how do you do all this? I read, man.